Let's go to North. You see, you see Nebraska here in Maine. They sort of have this where's Waldo effect. They're both blue and red. What does that mean? Well, they hand out their electoral votes in different ways by popular vote, but also by congressional district. Let me show you. So as we go into Nebraska right here, you have the popular vote at two and then each congressional district gets one electoral vote. So congressional district two, that's the city of Omaha and Sarpy County. If Trump were to flip this and he won this in 2016, I should remind you, then look at this number, 269, 269. So you're asking yourself, what happens? We're not at 270. Well, here's what happens. It then goes to the House of Representatives and the House of Representatives would select the president, not the current House, the House that wins on election night. So if Republicans are in control of the House, each state gets one vote and it stands to reason that if the Republicans have the majority, they're going to select Donald Trump to be the president. Same for Democrats. If they win the House, they're going to pick Kamala Harris. So what happens with vice president? It gets stranger. The Senate then picks the vice president. So if the Democrats hold the Senate like they do right now, and if they hold an election night, they would pick the vice president. So yes, there's a scenario where Donald Trump could be the president, and then Governor Tim Walz would be the vice president, and vice versa. Kamala Harris is president, and J.D. Vance is the vice president. It's completely strange. Listen, this hasn't happened in 200 years with this many states, but it has happened in our country's history. So just one of the many scenarios we're going to be ready for on election night.